we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage. Hell yeah. First touchdown against the Eagles here in the Super Bowl. I'm playing for keeps. This time around, unlike the regular season, where they dominated us, but we still won. Barely. Here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. to throw Brooks maybe not exactly what they had in mind but that scramble good for six and a first down and that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side from the offensive point of view it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays and defensively they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run Henry on first down, not finding much running room as he pushes forward for a yard or two at most. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Second down, they go again with Henry. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 67 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't looking too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Looking to throw. Brooks. He's going to have the first down, and more than that. And did he get in? No. Down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, they just need the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Henry. Got a touchdown. Take that, Mr. Eagles. We're showing them why we're tightening up. Because we are the Titans. And who's the Titan? Godzilla. And we're the Titans of Tennessee. And we're going to be the Titans of the Super Bowl. Here's Brooks throwing to start the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Fights off the defender. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. A loss of a yard. And it... Brooks, following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. So really the first as they start out first and ten. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And brought in downfield by Burks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. That's caught inside the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they top 30. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way. And they continue to move the ball downfield. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Henry again on second down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Heck yes! On the road, pop that ball. We need another touchdown. That's what we're talking about. Tighten up. And the busy night for Henry continues. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ready. 
Second down, they go again with Henry. Pushes him over, and they're able to get this one across the 35. A good play that I thought wouldn't work, but it worked just to perfection. We got another first down. Because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now Brooks to throw. Throwing on first down. Completes it to Hardman. And he'll be taken down, but not before nice he gets catch by Hartman. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Way to go, Henry. Running through the Eagles. Back -to -back nice gains. That one for get to the first yards. down and a couple more yards yeah, for that, there. too. Been such a big nice. Success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man. Can't keep me downfield, Eagles. Down, You're stagnant, but I'm going to get back my 19, 19 yards. No Leave that. Able to convert. And that's well executed there on third. Agaro is a man to catch, the man to throw at, and a man that you need to cover, but you didn't. Not the way you should have. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brooks. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Off the bootleg, Brooks. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he will score. Touchdown. Can you see that? Ninja was getting pushed, everyone on top, and he sat running in. He kept on going. Watch this. Everybody in the uncle trying to stop him from getting that touchdown. He's like, no, I'm a Titan. I'm my quarterback. This is my third season of the year. I'm going to go right through you, Eagles. I'm going to get the Super Bowl championship the second time in my career. Yeah. Heat. Brooks now on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And he completed to a conqueror. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. What a game he's having. They've not been able to stop him or even slow him down. He's got two touchdowns already. That could have been 
a third. He's got the secondary coach asking people for answers. Can you help me out? Because we are not slowing him down. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points. But he could not get that to stick. And that is a golden opportunity wasted there. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Halftime. So it's halftime here on Sports Halftime. We'll love to score the score it again. Halftime it is. Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Now Brooks on first and ten. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here's Brooks to throw on second down. They set up the screen for Henry. You seen that trying to tackle me? I still got some money to draw it to before he even came and get me. That's my Henry, man. Go, Derrick Henry. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. Don't wear these guys out. But that's not slowing down his feet as far as he's sure. He's saying I'm on the plus side of 30. Well, if you're on the plus side of 30, you all know what I'm on the plus <laughs> side of. All I know is that run right there, let us know there's still some life in those legs. Absolutely, still got a lot of life left in those legs. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Brooks off the bootleg. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now, remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Back to throw. Brooks. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Now Brooks to throw. Throwing on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw. Brooks. And this is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Janaris Robinson. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Brooks now throwing on third and long. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked in and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back Woody. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know 
that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards just short of the line to gain. Oh boy, Derrick Henry shake it up after that last play and in some discomfort down there. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. Brooks. Catch is made by Hardman. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The whistle in at the 35-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Got his man, a conqueror. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. And the passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. Did he continue to throw these safe passes? Who can blame him? The Cockrell holds it in left side. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? And, and he gets in. Go Spears. He showed that not only Henry can score, he can run in one, too. You go, Spears. Little man takes the six points for the Titans. He just speared the Eagles. <laughs> Get it, because his name is Spears, and wrestling, there's a lot of Spears, and they tackle a lot, which is a spear. Okay, that's enough. Team May, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. They'll try the right side with Henry. Down to about Henry's the back. Yeah, After he's seen Spears make that touchdown, he's like, it's my turn now. Crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Carter. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. <laughs> well, partner, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. They run on first down with Henry, but the hole evaporates quickly as he'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team. No, Alcaro's hurt. No. We need him hurt. Oh, man. Oh, girl. Stay healthy. Okay.
They'll try and run for it with Henry. A strong run. And he will fight his way into the end. Heck yeah. We got another touchdown. I told you Henry wanted another touchdown because he saw Spears take one. He's like, nah, I want another one. I scored so many times in this game, and I want to be able to score one more time. It might be more than one time. Who knows? Henry out running the Eagles, getting us another six points. You go, boy. Woo! Take Tighten up! Tighten up! Tighten up! Tighten up! Yeah! Is when you're on the side that's being dominated, to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now. Trying to find that pride in Look at Henry go. Allow them to continue to fight, even though they are down huge in this game. Here's second and three. They'll run it again with Henry. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. The Titans on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Henry up the middle. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Henry again on second down. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Up oh, big here in the fourth quarter. Up real. That one looks like he'll throw here. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That pass taken in by Burks. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Looking to throw. Brooks. A shot downfield for Burks. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles. <laughs> That lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. And he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off play action. Brooks. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. I don't care. I won the Super Bowl. You guys lost. It doesn't matter. Those ones with a little bit of pace on them. Blowout supported by both sides of the ball today, Charles. It would be easy to look at the offense and say, man, they were clicking, and they were, but don't forget about the effort by this defense as well. Yeah, they weren't going to let up just because the lead was safe. They wanted to play as big a part in this game as their offense did in making this blowout. They needed to be noticed as well, and they played accordingly.